Productions and Carry Me Lifestyles, Carry Me Me Music, and Mo and May. Uh, we're going to come back to you today because a few weeks ago or a week ago or so, I did a tutorial on the drawstring ponytail for my oldest daughter, Monea, and everybody seemed to like it. So I'm just going to touch base on that and show you what else we do. Now, Monea's hair has been totally washed, not washed up, totally brushed up and sprayed. Um, I wash, Monet washes her hair when it's in drawstring ponytails about once a week. And right now it's time for it to be washed. But if you're ever in an emergency and you don't have time to do all of that because you know with black girls that's a process. Us washing, us blowing out, us re-moisturizing. And you got to get somewhere quick and you didn't have time to wash it, then your best bet is going, going to be to wet it. So what we do is we go in and we wet it. And then let me go back out so I can show you guys. Monet has really thick hair, so I don't use scrunchies. This is a headband, which is like twice the size of a scrunchie. And I get these from the dollar store. And five will come in a pack. And I wrap them and make a scrunchie because I got more, I have more width. More, more give, shall I say. So hair is so thick, I make sure I use these headbands instead of rubber bands or scrunchies that are not going to work. I do my girl's hair really tight because I don't want it to come out. So I've sprayed it and put it up at this point. Um, I usually go back in, but she's got her head in the the phone so she's not sorry you know choke the neck or anything um i usually go back in with with some leave-in conditioner and brush up until i get it to be smooth all the way around the leave-in conditioner that i just used was Love is in the air, castor oil with coconut oil, super strength leave-in. It says it helps smooth and strengthen hair while reducing breakage and tangles. It was $5.99 from Ross, and it's a really good leave-in. As you can see, her hair now is all pretty smooth. And what you want to make sure you do, she wears long ponytails. So I never have to worry about the back being perfect. Like I have to worry about the front all the time being as perfect, but I kind of just go in and make sure it's all smooth. She's like, I don't know, fighting against me with her hair today, I don't know why. My girls don't like to get their hair combed. They give me a hard time, believe it or not, even though you see me on videos doing hair. They, they don't like the hair comb. Um, these extra little scrunchies, I just use these for extra tightness. And so I'll go back in maybe with two of them. And I just go like a couple of times. If you put the hair in a bun, which is what I'm going to do right now, it'll stay in the, the ponytail better. After you've sprayed this and you smooth, you always want to go back in until everything is smooth out um people would say a friend of mine would say oh you got cockroaches in here and what that means is that it's just lumpy or it's bumpy and you don't want it to be lumpy or bumpy you want it to be smooth so that it looks good in the ponytail so the only way to achieve that is to make sure you are brushing it and make sure you are smoothing it after i do that my daughter swears so as you can see we don't use much gel we use more leave-in conditioner and more um, styling conditioner, a lot more than we, we could ever use gel. And my daughter swears by Eco Gel. She, she loves it. And really, when you got Eco Gel, you really don't have to use a lot. I just kind of use it as a smoother, and that's it. And this is the way you want the hair to end up looking. So that it'll lay down smooth in the ponytail. 
You just want to make sure every little edge that you see, using very little, not a lot, is being smoothed up. And just like that. And once I even do a little appeal on the ponytail on the bun. Once you've got that complete, and you can see it. You'll see it. You'll see it totally laying down. You see it totally smooth. I don't use hairspray or nothing until the very end. Every once in a while, I'll use a little pump it up or a little, a little, uh, any other uh, holding spray. I have like the freezing spray from got to be glued, that one, that's a real good one. But this is the concept that you wanna give, that you wanna have, excuse me. Okay. And you wanna look like this. And you wanna play with it until you get it right. I've been doing that on Monet's hair since she was four or five years old because she had really coarse hair and if she had to look pretty for something, and she didn't want to be bothered with long processes, I would make sure I do this. Okay, so we're going to do a part two in a little bit and show you what ponytails we get on top and how my daughter achieves her baby hair when she's done. But right now we wanted to just show you how to get your hair up into a slick bun before you get a ponytail um, on your daughter if you're doing this to your daughter. So once again, it's Carrie, Carrie Cammy Lifestyles. This is Monea. And have a good day.